Yo, lead me back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Games. Today we play on the map, that's Survival Games 2. And guys, I apologize uh, that I am sick in today's video, and I'm going to be sick in the next video as well, because, well, it's the same recording session. The damn weather changed again, and I always get sick when that happens. Uh, and you can see how my tongue is blue from all the blue Gatorade I've been drinking to help ease my throat. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't have school today. Um, so I'm doing my recording now, um, but because, but I'm also going to be away this week, and so this is kind of the only time I can do it, but getting into the commentary, guys, um, getting into the commentary, um, this is probably week old news to you guys by now, uh, by the time this video comes out, but, but, um, Andrew Jackson is being replaced on the $20 bill by Harriet Tubman, and it has started some controversy, um, in the news, you know, some people are in favor of it, some people aren't, and I actually thought this would be an interesting commentary, because, um, for me, um, U.S. history is the only history that I actually like talking about, I, I hate talking about world or ancient history, I find those so boring, but U.S. I find is a lot easier, mostly because, it's very linear if you're talking about world history that could cover a bunch of different countries during a bunch of different time periods and you gotta remember all these different wars and stuff for u.s history we have like the revolutionary war and then like uh we get some states and kill some indians and there's the civil war and then um like we were in a world war one world war two civil rights movement you know it's pretty easy to follow u.s history for the most part um, but, um, this is the first time that an African American is going to be on the currency, and some people have mixed opinions about it, so I'd like to give my opinion about it. Well, for starters, I'm not surprised that it's happening. I mean, if you look over the course of American history, we start from a time period when, hold on. Okay, we start from a time period when black people were not respected in this land to getting more and more equal every day. That's the trend we're currently seeing. So sooner or later, um, I kn like sooner or later, people in like who uh, the government, the government, that's what I'm trying to say. The government would be like, hey, you know what? I don't think it's politically correct anymore to have only white people on our money. So then they're like, okay, let's put an African-American on our currency, and bam, this is what we have. Um, I'm not surprised that it happened, and I'm not, like, offended or anything, um, but I do think it is kind of a bold change to put Harriet Tubman. Like, I get that it's, um, I get that they're putting an African-American on currency, but to be honest, I don't think Harriet Tubman was the best option, if that makes sense. I think probably, I don't know, who else has been an influential leader in African American history in the United States. Maybe Martin Luther King Jr.? I don't know. He seemed like he did a lot more than she did, at least from what I know. Um, so, I am I mean, who knows? Harriet Tubman's also a woman, so it could be because of that. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of weird that a change all of a sudden is happening. And, to be honest, I'm kind of surprised that they're uh, deciding to take Jackson off. Um, so I'm not surprised that the change is happening, but I am surprised that they are doing it, uh, to Jackson, because, well, <coughs> for starters, uh, Washington and Lincoln are on two forms of currency. We have Washington on the $1 bill and the quarter, and Lincoln on the $5 bill and the penny. And, I mean, do, I think each of them deserve one spot. I, I, I mean... We had George Washington was the uh, first president, one of the founding fathers, and then Abe Lincoln, of course, was the president who oversaw the Civil War and played a huge part in freeing the slaves. Um, so I think both of them made significant enough contributions to American history to earn a spot on the currency. Um, so let, let's look at some of the other people on our currency. We have, uh, we'll start with the coins, I guess. We have... Lincoln on the penny, we already talked about him. We have, who's on the nickel? Um, Thomas Jefferson, he created the Declaration of Independence. So, obvious, and he's one of the founding fathers, so obviously pretty influential dude. 
uh, FDR is on the dime, and he, um, what did, uh, he do? Oh, he oversaw World War II, of course, yeah, he oversaw, uh, the majority of World War II, like, right until the very end. Um, I actually forget who's on the 50 cent, um, not really sure. I know Sakajawea is on the one dollar, which is weird enough as is. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty weird that she's on the one dollar bill. I don't know, the uh, one dollar coin, coin. Um, so now going to the bills, we got Washington again on the one. Uh, two dollar bills, we got Thomas Jefferson. Um, so, uh, we already talked about him. Lincoln on the five. Uh, 10 is Alexander Hamilton. A lot of people actually don't know who this guy is, and I didn't for a long period of time, but he was the first uh, Secretary of the Treasury. I think that was his title anyway. He, he was like the first person to really manage the money uh, for the United States. And then we had uh, Jackson, of course, on the 20. Grant. Oh, Andrew Jackson did a lot of changes. I mean, he had a... Uh, he, what was he number four? I think he was one of the fourth presidents. He, anyway, he was one of the presidents when America was still starting out. Um, and he had a bunch of changes. I think I think he was the president that oversaw the Trail of Tears. Not like that's a good thing. I mean, that <laughs> exiled all the Indians. <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. Um, here, let me kill this person. Okay, I'm kind of low. Um, yeah, so, not obviously the best thing. Then we had Grant, who led the Union Army during the Civil War, and then Ben Franklin on the 100, who made a ton of changes to printing, science, and politics. And he was one of the founding fathers, and I think he signed the Declaration of Independence. You can check me up on that. So anyway, we have all these influential people. That was the whole spiel. We have all these influential people. We clearly had huge parts in American history, but Harriet Tubman just, um, like, helped out a few slaves. I, I don't know. I don't think, like, personally, I don't think she's the right choice. I mean, I, I definitely see how it's like, okay, we need to get, um, an African-American person on our currency because we could our money currently looks like baseball cards with slave owners, but I think, do, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. probably wouldn't have been a better fit. I feel like he, um, he was a huge leader in the civil rights movement, and, you know, when a bunch of people think, well, how did black people get all their rights, because they used to not have them, he's obviously one of the main people, uh, that is focused on. Um, I certainly wouldn't put Obama on any of our currency. I think he's an awful president. Um... And, I mean, he honestly didn't do anything that memorable. Um, I, I know there's not talk of Obama being on the currency, at least not to my knowledge. But, um, I mean, he didn't really do anything during his presidency that's, like, that notable. I mean, sure, every president does something. But, I mean, from what I, like, I don't, I honestly don't remember a lot besides Obamacare, the Great Recession in 2008. Um, and a couple of terrible deals we made with other countries, but that's about it. He is, like, I don't think he really did a lot to help out our country. <coughs> um, damn it, I missed. Um, so that's that. We're going on a death match. Um, yeah, I, I, I just don't think Obama really did that much, so I wouldn't say he should be the African-American person put on the currency. So... To be honest, I'm like I'm fine with Harriet Tubman. It's not a bad choice, but I'm surprised they didn't pick maybe Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, and also I'm surprised that they're taking off Jackson instead of just I don't know replacing one of the coin. Uh, like maybe put her on the quarter, like where Washington already is. I mean, Washington has the one dollar bill, and everyone all like one dollar bills I think are the most common, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I might be mistaken on that. That's just a guess. Um, so, yeah, I, I find it very surprising that they... I, I, yeah, so that's basically my conclusion. I'm not sad that it's happening, but I'm surprised with them taking Jackson off instead of replacing one of the two duplicates. Um, and I am surprised that they picked someone who wasn't Dr. Martin Luther King 
uh, represent African Americans on our currency. That's it. So hopefully, hopefully, um, that argument came across as pretty clear. Um, I'm not trying to sound racist or sexist because, in all honesty, I'm fine with the choice of Harriet Tubman. It doesn't like disgust me or anything like that. It just surprises me. <coughs> so leave your comments below on the matter. Um. I'd be happy to read them. Oh, Jefferson's also a duplicate. I, I said that. I totally forgot. He's on the two and the nickel. Um, so yeah. Um, so we got Washington, Lincoln, and Jefferson as the duplicate. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's commentary. Leave comments if you have anything that you would like to add. And I will, yeah. Thank you for watching this show. And see you guys next time.